I've got a better idea. Hi, guys! Today we're gonna craft something very unusual. Sam wants to be more independent, so I've decided to make him a gift. So I just want to do something I love. <laughs> I see. You mean making chaos and noise in our house? We'll see what you think when I become a famous musician! Oh, you're a long way from being famous with that kind of skill. Ugh, that's because you won't let me practice. Fine, Sammy. I'm gonna tell you my secret. I'm making a music room for your practicing. Really? Now I can be as noisy as I want! <laughs> yes, and I can calmly read my book. Our room will have two levels. Let's add a small staircase to make it easier to go up. We'll set a piano here. Oh, such beautiful pictures! And what a view! Everything for your inspiration. Let's assemble a bookshelf. Sammy likes to read so much. Here's a cute bookshelf we made. I like it when there's lots of pictures and the print is large. <laughs> Sammy, you're so funny. Susie, I think curtains are missing. Oh, right. I totally forgot about that. Let's fix this. Fan fold a piece of fabric this way. Then wrap it with another strip. Air. Now, unfold the piece. Great! And here's the second one. Two! You can use this to fix the curtains. Oh, right, Sam. Carefully string the curtain on. It's coming out nice, right? Oh, I love it. Let's prepare the place for the curtain. Glue these two pieces on the side. And carefully attach the curtain. The finishing touch. It's time to set the lights in our room. We'll have beautiful lamps like this. Insert the wires into this opening. And fix the lamp. Here. It's time to make the main element of the room. Guys, did you guess what it is? It's a piano for our Sam! Carefully… Sue, I decided to help you! I made the keys for my piano! Oh, just in time, Sammy! I have everything ready. And here's the keyboard cover. Don't forget about another important part, the leg. Like this. Let's glue the legs. Perfect! Our white piano is ready! Let me make it a little cozier. Aha! There. Done. And now another important thing. No, it's not another musical instrument, as you may think. <laughs> it's a bed. <laughs> Let's glue the bedposts. This bed is kind of royal. Just the right thing for our brilliant Sam. Huh? Sammy, enough sleeping. You'd better help! And give me the mattress. I just laid down for five minutes. There. That's better. A bed like this needs a beautiful blanket. Oh. And a couple of lacy cushions. Here, Sue. I'm capable not only of sleeping, but building furniture as well. Let's add a soft rug. 
and cute slippers. Ah, it's time to assemble the sofa. Apply some glue to the back. And attach the base to it. Nice! I spoke with Snowy. She can't wait to come and visit me. Oh, no way, Sammy. No hamsters in our room, okay? Snowy will just turn everything upside down in here. My chill! Uh-uh. You cannot change my mind. There are just too many details here. I'm just against this idea. Let's glue the handrail. Cool. Chill! Check out the table I made! Awesome! We'll place it here. Chew! So, don't you think a wall's missing here? Huh, you're right. I'm gonna make it. Well, in the meantime, I made this floor lamp. Let's put it next to the sofa. Great. Huh? I, I think I heard someone meowing. Kitty! Here is the wall as promised! <sighs> I think we made a cool room. Do you agree? Strange. Huh, what's this? Roger and I are out to watch monster trucks. Be back in the evening, XOXO Sam? Those weirdos didn't even invite me! Whatever, I'll find something to do. Hi guys, while Sam's away, I decided not to waste any time and make a diorama of my future bedroom in Victoria's Secret style. <laughs> it includes pink, black, and white colors. I can't wait to start. I always wanted to redo my bedroom into something more extravagant. Especially considering that pink is one of my favorite colors. But first, I have to build the walls. And change the floor surface to something more exquisite. What should I choose? I wish Sam was here to help. Actually, I like the gray color more. It's softer and nicer to look at. Like this. <laughs> well, that wasn't very challenging. Hmm, what about the walls? I should give it a better thought. Um, paint them? Uh, nope. Um, maybe wallpaper? Oh yeah, I like that idea better. We'll start with the bigger wall like this. Hmm, maybe we could use something different here? Although we won't invent anything new, let's just use the same wallpaper. Since it's a bedroom, we'll need the actual bed. I like big beds, so we'll make it taller. Let's start with the body of our bed. It's quite easy. Oh, I'll feel like a princess from a fairy tale sleeping on it. Every fairy tale has some magic. Whoa! It's totally a miracle! To cover the base, we'll use some glue and a piece of pink paper. We'll just wrap it around the walls. Just a bit more, and done. It's not possible to sleep on yet. We'll fix it right now. Let's take a bit of glue to make the base softer. I don't like to sleep on hard surfaces. <laughs> and we'll cover it with a pale pink fabric. It should turn out to be very beautiful. To secure the fabric, we'll wrap it around the template. Hop, 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 hop. First on the longer side, then on the shorter ones. Whoa, cool! Let's see. Hmm, we'll secure the upper part on the base. Check out our new soft bed! Let's put the bed in the corner of the room. There's still so much to be placed here. I've always dreamed of having one thing in a bedroom. Finally, it will come true! We'll add another column here. Great, can you guess what it'll be? Guys, I already love the style of my room! My favorite color is everywhere, but um, now I can't really see the bed. <laughs> Let's fix that. Be careful with sharp tools, guys. Here we go. Nope, still not enough. Let's secure the drapes of the canopy using a rubber band. Pink, of course. To make it even cuter, we'll cover it with black lace. 
exquisite and elegant Victoria's Secret style. We'll complete this black pink decor with the lace on top. Guys, give this a thumbs up if you like it as much as I do! This is the back of the future sofa, but it still looks incomplete. Mm, this way is much better. The monochrome color is totally gonna match our interior. From this side, it'll be closed by a strip of black velvet. A perfect match! I wish Sammy was here. I wonder if he likes my designer taste. Let's try to deal with this piece faster. Whoa, I nailed it! Eh, uh, almost. I guess I'll finish it manually. Very neat, like this. Okay, this time it should work. Yay! It's just sometimes you need to be a little bit more persistent. We'll make the sofa seat a little higher. And higher. And even higher. <laughs> ah, okay, that's high enough. We'll use the rest of the paper to decorate the seat in the same style. There you go. Done. Let's move to the easier part, the assembling. Just the back side left. And check! No magic needed! We'll place the sofa near the bed so that I can crawl from one place to another. But it's still not soft enough. We need to add something. Let it be a sofa with cushions! I can hug one of these while watching a movie. <laughs> we'll use the same fabric as for the canopy decor. I still have some of it left. We can have a pillow fight with Sam. <laughs> I'm already in love with this room! Bam! And one more cushion goes here. There! Now it's soft enough and comfy. Hmm… Maybe we could use one of these for the bed, too? Oh, but I really like having both of them on the sofa! What to do? <gasps> of course! I'm gonna need some more fabric with prints! Stay tuned, I'll be right back. To move on, we'll need a striped fabric. Where should I… Oh, that's right! I'd better thank Fluffy for leaving this guy without a pair. <laughs> Everything might come in handy. Now we'll cut a piece of the necessary shape and size. Look how cool it came out! In the end, we'll get something really awesome. Let's make an envelope as we did with the other pillows, but this one will be an unusual shape. We'll need another rubber band, but this time to shape the pillow. I want to make it an adorable bow! Very unusual, huh? And to hide the rubber band, we'll use a piece of pink fabric. Done! <laughs> I couldn't resist and made more pink pillows. <laughs> what can I say? Can't be helped. I like comfort. <laughs> there can't be too many pillows, especially unusual ones like this. The space of this wall looks empty. <gasps> Let's make it the working space! It will be a desk with some shelves. Cool, right? Hmm, how many shelves do I need? Oh, I have a lot of things to store. And Sam will try to put his stuff there as well. I think the better option is a lot of shelves. <laughs> Hmm, what else do we need? Oh, right! The main thing's the desk! Here, I'll write and draw and create. What do you think? Which colors will be best for this? You have three seconds to guess, so one, two, and three! Guessed it? If yes, then give a thumbs up. My room is getting furnished little by little, but that's still not all. I really want this room to be cozy. Let's see. Hmm, which painting would Sam hang here? He's the main artist in our house. I decided to take Sam's sketches and redraw them my own way. I hope Sam will like them. Or even get jealous. <laughs> Look how adorable it is! And the room looks brighter now, right? This will be a perfect rug. Hmm, which shape should I choose? Haha, <laughs> let it be a fluffy cloud. It's like you can walk on air in this room. Awesome! We just need to cut it out. Guys, be very careful with sharp tools. Wow! It came out awesome! Where should I place this rug? Here? No, no, no. Over here! Looks awesome. Oh my, this is bad. I don't have a place to sit. Which seat color should I choose? It's so challenging. I'll try a random choice. Hocus pocus! It's pink, then. Let's assemble the seat. I think I can speed this up a bit. Oh. Great! Now let's attach the back side. Here it is! Oh, I really like the result so far. Why don't we make it a spinning chair? It's not as difficult as you may think. At first, we'll secure the stand exactly in the center. And then comes the round base. The final touch! Whoa, so adorable! 
we'll put the chair on the rug with the animal print. It's trending again nowadays. Holy cannoli, the room is almost ready! Just one more thing to go, the coffee table. It will really be luxurious, and you'll see why. Wow, check this out. Such splendor. Victoria's Secret style is all about luxury, and my room defo needs a table of luxury. Let's not be shy and add some more sparkle! Ah! I am so in love with this decor! We'll place it here. It really matches the interior. <gasps> Our room is ready! But the shelves are empty. Let's change the situation. Oh, I love a cappuccino. And I can't do it without my laptop, of course. A couple more touches. Oops, I guess we have an empty corner here. <gasps> I know! We'll add some nicely smelling flowers. Finally, we're done! Let me organize a small room tour for ya. So you did awesome today while I was away! Thanks, Sammy! How do you like the design of my future room? Shh. Are you kidding me? I get lost in all this pink stuff around here! Oh. <laughs> Come on, Sammy! Then you'll become the first ever chameleon slime! <laughs> Very funny! No, just look at that! It's impossible! <gasps> Sammy, where are you? I can't see you! Where'd you go? <laughs> Guys, Sammy completely merged with the interior, and while I'll be searching for him, give a thumbs up and hit the bell button! And tell your friends that Susan befriended the first ever chameleon slime, which you can see on this channel. <laughs> Let's go, Sammy. We'll find more backgrounds that you can possibly merge with. Bye bye guys! I'll look awesome with any background, even if I merge with it, Susan. Oh, bye!